Welcome to Miniorange. Miniorange provides single sign-on solution for Jira, and as we know that is the best SAML SSO solution available in the market. So, in this video, we are going to set up Jira single sign-on with custom identity provider, using SAML protocol. Let's get started with the setup. Go to your Miniorange single sign-on plugin. You can navigate the plugin by clicking on take a tour of the add-on. Now let's proceed with the configuration. Click on add new IDP. You can select manual setup flow, which gives you access to all the various setup options that we provide to add a SAML identity provider. Here, you will require some IDP details like the IDP name, IDP entity ID, the IDP single sign on URL, and the IDP signing certificate which will be used to validate a SAML response received from your identity provider. You will find these details in your IDP metadata file. To import the IDP metadata details, using metadata URL, or by uploading the metadata file, you can go to Import from Metadata tab. To get the service provider information, click on SP Information button. To configure SP or JIRA's metadata in your identity provider, you can either use metadata URL, or metadata XML file, or by manually configuring using these URLs. You can go to View Setup Guide, to get the step-by-step -step instructions. If you want to configure your IDP setup from the get-go, you can use Quick Setup Flow which we will be covering in this video. So for the Quick Setup, go back to Common Setting. Click on Add New IDP. And select Quick Setup. Select Custom IDP. Now you are on the Service Provider Metadata tab. You can configure the Service Provider Metadata, by either of the three ways. That is Metadata URL, or Metadata XML file, or by manually configuring the metadata on your IDP. Click here to view the setup guide of the plugin. Here you will get step-by-step -step instructions. So, let's configure Custom Identity Provider. Here, we will take an example of Miniorange IDP as our custom IDP. In the app section, we are creating Jira SAML application. In Miniorange IDP, we can configure service provider metadata by manually configuring SP information, or rather you can go to import SP metadata. Here, we will go with manual configuration. As mentioned earlier, you will find SP entity ID and ACS URL in the plugin. Copy the SP Entity ID, and paste it in the given field in the application. Now copy the ACS URL, and paste it in the given field in the application. Click on Save. Your app is configured successfully. Now, let's set up Jira as a service provider. Go to the Service Provider Metadata window, in the plugin. And click on Proceed. Enter the custom IDP name of your choice. IDP metadata can be imported in one of the three ways. Metadata URL, metadata file, or manual setup. We will be going with metadata URL for now. You will get the IDP metadata information from your identity provider. In the menu range IDP, you will find the metadata in the apps tab. Select your app, and choose metadata from the drop down. You will get the IDP metadata information by clicking on Show Metadata Details button. Here we will be copying metadata URL. Now paste that copied URL in the metadata URL field. And click on Save. You can see SAML setting updated message. Go down to the Test and Get Attributes URL. Copy the URL. Go to the incognito window. And in the location bar, paste the copied URL from the plugin, and press Enter. You can see successful test configuration here, along with the name ID. You can scroll down, to check SAML request and SAML response. Go back to the plugin, and click on Proceed. In the User Profile section, you can map the user profile attributes. Click on Save and Proceed. From this drop-down, configure the default group, that will be used to grant application access to the user. If no group is mapped, then users are added by default to the Jira Software Users group. And from this drop-down, you can choose which user would be assigned the default groups. Click on View Results. Now click on Finish. 
Your IDP is successfully configured. Now whenever any user will try to access Jira login page, he will be redirected to your custom IDP for authentication after some time. That is, the users will be forced to log in via custom IDP SSO. If you want to keep this behavior, then click on I understand. But if you want to change the behavior and show both, Jira login page and custom IDP SSO button, then click on sign in settings link. Now click on auto redirect to IDP option, to disable it. Scroll down. And click on save. Now, navigate to the configured IDPs tab from the left menu. You will find all the configured IDPs here. You can view, test, edit, or delete your configuration here. You can also enable or disable SSO for Jira software and service management. As your test connection was successful, now you will see the SSO button on the Jira login page. Click on Use Corporate Login button. And you will be redirected to your custom IDP for SAML authentication. Now enter your IDP credentials. You will be successfully logged into your Jira dashboard using your custom IDP credentials. Go to the user profile, to check the user data. And you can find the user's email ID here. Manurange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.